if i walk in a manhattan downtown or or any downtown for that matter in the any of the tier 2 tier 1 cities in usa mm-hmm. i will find a uh, catholic missionary people distributing bible mm. and next signal i will find iskon people distributing bhagavad gita mm. one is converting for sure other people who look uh at both of them will find that both of them are trying to convert to okay. their respective religion are you okay good question. in the name so of in, in the name of his spiritual elevation <laughs> because uh, so i would like, i because, can share a screen with you yeah sure uh, but in this concept uh, okay yeah yeah so see if you see here i hope this is visible let me make it full screen so broadly we could say mm-hmm. religious traditions Uh, the basic purpose is that this is a mountain the bottom of the mountain mm-hmm. is material consciousness mm-hmm. the top of the mountain is spiritual consciousness okay mm-hmm. can you and uh, yeah, so can you pull a screen a little down uh, we can see the top the of the mountain oh it's not visible okay let me just is this better yeah yeah <laughs> so Okay, is it better now? Yeah. So this is the top of the mountain. This is spiritual consciousness. Mm-hmm. The bottom of the mountain, material consciousness. Mm-hmm. So we could say, independent of the specific names of particular religions, say Hinduism, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, whatever. Broadly, the religious traditions of the world can be classified into three categories. There is exclusivism. So exclusivism holds that this is the only way up the mountain. True. This is my way or the highway. Mm-hmm. So. in the exclusivist tradition people are more attached to the path than to the purpose the purpose is to get to the top of the mountain true hmm? now this is one path to the top of the mountain there could be other paths also mm-hmm. but this is this is exclusivist tradition and we could say many of the abrahamic religions in their mainstream versions mm-hmm. are exclusivist okay although even within christianity there are many there are many influential christians who talk about you know how everybody will be delivered mm-hmm. how there is a universal christ beyond the specific jesus mm-hmm. they are there but their mainstream versions are exclusivist mm-hmm. so exclusivist hold that if you when you join a pendulum my way is the only way then we go to the next the other is pluralism pluralism is that okay all ways are right now many people think that this is the teaching of the bhagavad gita mm mm-hmm. however that is a over simplification okay so pluralism now if you consider if i am at the bottom of the mountain now all ways are not going to take me up the mountain true some ways will just take me up and half way up and down some may just take me round and round the mountain mm-hmm. some may even take me away from the mountain so so pluralism is a over simplification and when we say all paths are right this also leads into logical problems because if i say all paths are right uh-huh. then somebody says only my path is right so if all paths are right mm-hmm. then the person who says only my path is right they that path is also right true and then if they say that only their path is right then all paths can't be right true so pluralism doesn't work mm-hmm. so the gita's teaching is a third category it is inclusivism inclusivism is there are many paths to the same purpose मम वर्तमानुवर्तन्ते मनुष्यः पार्थ सर्वशः कृष्णा सेज ऑल पीपल आर परसुइंग द पाथ टू मी दैट मींस दैट अल्टीमेटली दे आर ट्राइंग टू अटेन मी दिस इज 411 इन द भगवत गीता सो द गीताज विजडम इज ब्रॉडली इंक्लूसिविज्म इंक्लूसिविज्म मींस दैट दैट देयर इज वन पर्पस व्हिच इंक्लूड्स मेनी पाथ्स द वन पर्पस इज टू राइज फ्रॉम द बॉटम ऑफ द कॉन्शियस बॉटम ऑफ द माउंटेन टॉप ऑफ द माउंटेन to rise from material consciousness to spiritual consciousness so now there can be different different paths for rising up the mountain so with this broad understanding when say catholics or christians they are converting now they may also be inspiring people to go up the mountain from their path mm-hmm. but unfortunately it may not happen like that there it is sometimes religion becomes a becomes a means for gaining political power or gaining other kinds of power mm-hmm. so then 
there is a conversion which will be just pulling a person from one part of the bottom of the mountain to another part of the bottom of the mountain mm -hmm. or somebody is climbing up the mountain one way pull them down and drag them here and then try to pull, push them up from our way mm -hmm. in that process the person makes no spiritual growth okay mm -hmm. or very little spiritual growth mm -hmm. so so this you could say is conversion in the religious sense mm -hmm. where you are simply pulling a person from one area at the bottom of the mountain to another area at the bottom of the mountain but whereas when we are trying to share the gita's wisdom what we are trying to do is elevation elevation means that from the bottom of the mountain rise to the top of the mountain so what how does this happen see the gita gives us specific guidelines not the, it uses specific guidelines it also gives us broad principles mm -hmm. and both the guidelines and the principles are ultimately meant to help us raise our consciousness so if one actually raises the consciousness that means they will rise from being a materialist to becoming a spiritualist okay and this we could say if at all you want to use the word conversion it has a negative connotation but if at all you want to use the word conversion it is a vertical conversion it is elevation so what causes problems see even in india there is a lot of concern about conversion mm -hmm. and if somebody is genuinely inspired to seek god through the christian path mm -hmm. you know we are happy to, if they do that but unfortunately people are not seeking god people are pressurized misled tempted and people end up basically changing from one religion to another religion for many purposes other than a spiritual purpose and then that causes various kinds of disturbances in society so the horizontal kind of conversion is you could say simply a power game you know where people are trying to convert and get increase their numbers and gain power mm -hmm. but the vertical conversion that is actually ultimately the purpose of human life we are at our core spiritual beings and we are meant to all we are on a all on a journey of spiritual evolution so the vertical conversion is the purpose of the bhagavad gita See, Arjuna before the Gita was ready to fight the war, mm -hmm. and then he became a little confused. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the Gita, he fought a war. So, what was the difference for him? The difference after hearing the Gita was his consciousness was elevated. Whereas he was thinking, seeing, seeing, seeing things only from the material perspective. If I fight, this will happen. If I fight, this will happen. But with the spiritual understanding, he saw that I am a spiritual being. They are spiritual beings, and by doing my dharma. i will evolve spiritually and because these people are aggressors by stopping them i will establish dharma in society by stopping them i will prevent them from doing the adharma and they will also continue on their spiritual journey so the gita's purpose is to elevate human consciousness It's true and yeah that is what we are also trying to help people do that okay okay um but from the from the far it looks like conversion until unless you go into them because uh, some people say that iskon people will come and say we'll give you free lunch we'll give you free stay uh, come and listen to us it kind of a luring but i understand that uh, as you said that you need some kind of penetration maybe uh what is your yeah you were saying something yeah yeah so just two thing yes now even i would say that not everybody in iskon is at the same level of spiritual evolution or a sp same level of spiritual understanding it's a large society there are more than a million members connected at different levels and in every tradition there are some people who are more broad minded there are some people who are more narrow minded and in general if people's interaction is with somebody who is a little more narrow minded then yes that impression may come that we are getting converted so in my in a personally i never thought that i am joining iskon okay. i what i thought is that i studied the bhagavad gita i was inspired by the bhagavad gita and i felt that i want to continue doing the study this and share the wisdom and it was a organic growth for me so i never thought that i am joining a particular organization so you may call me a preacher who is trying to convert but i never thought i myself became converted Okay. It was basically for myself. It was just a organic growth. In a way, I could how best can I contribute to society? 